There's a man outside my house with a gun. For the first time, we are hearing the 911 calls minutes before an elderly man is shot by police near his own home. We have team coverage tonight on the death of Francisco Cerna from how many rounds were fired, the gun that wasn't found, and how the family is grieving. We start, though, tonight with Laura Acevedo live at BPD headquarters. She's tracking the investigation that is now under scrutiny tonight. Laura? Tim and Jackie, Chief Lyle Martin isn't officially being sworn into his new position until tomorrow, but he says he called the press conference to be more transparent. He admitted this shooting has affected the whole community. First and foremost, I'd like to uh, offer my condolences to the Cerna family. This is a very tragic event. That is new Bakersfield Police Chief Lyle Martin. Martin called a press conference late this afternoon to release information about the shooting that killed 73 year old Francisco Serna. And it's concluded that Mr. Serna was not armed at the time of the shooting. Chief Martin confirmed that Francisco Serna did not have a gun. Police say it all started on Sunday when a neighbor reported Serna banging on doors and windows. This subject described Mr. Serna's behavior as bizarre. Just hours later, a 911 call from another neighbor reporting Francisco Serna had a gun. Police releasing that call nearly 48 hours into their investigation. 911. There's a man outside my house with a gun. The caller tells dispatch that Serna had approached his girlfriend as she was getting dropped off at her house. He's an older Mexican gentleman, about 5'7. Uh, mm -hmm. He's well in his Late the caller said Serna had a gun. Okay, what kind of gun was it? It looks like a, it looked like a revolver. I'm not for sure. Martin said there was a total of six officers who responded to the call. Only one fired his gun, firing seven rounds at Serna. Martin telling the media why officers at the scene didn't use non-lethal options. The fact that we thought we were dealing with an armed subject. Um, it's approximately 20 to 30 seconds pass from the RP saying that's him to the first shot fired. So officers are taking cover, giving commands, trying to put together a plan. Martin also responded to the family's claim that the department knew Serna had dementia. Chief Martin says he didn't know, but audio from dispatchers obtained by 23ABC the day after the shooting clearly describes what officers were hearing over the radio. Perez Francisco Serna reported us to having dementia. The officer who fired his gun has been identified as Regan Selman. He's been with the department for a little over a year. Chief Martin says he will be releasing more information about the investigation as it becomes available. Reporting live from BPD headquarters, Laura Acevedo, 23ABC.